What is up guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, we talk about the upcoming 080 update. There was a mad stream yesterday, and they revealed even more information about the emotes, new cosmetic sets, and the upcoming events. Now, believe it or not, we have a release date for the update. They said they were not going to do it anymore. They said about the end of the month or early next month, but no release date, no precise date. Now, yesterday, they said... They want to submit the update next Friday in exactly a week. So it should take the weekend to get approved by Google Play Store and App Store. So they said the update should be live Monday, February 4. Uh, so it's in exactly a week and a couple days, guys. As you know, we got four new legendary weapons. And they did not want to reveal where we're going to find them. They want us to find them. So stay tuned because, you know, guys, usually it doesn't take long. When we get new legendaries, a couple days, people will find them. So make sure you subscribe to the channel for all the latest news. Now, at the start of the stream, they talk about the upcoming event. So what I understood last week is after uh, this week's PvE event, we were going to get another PvP event. But today they revealed the next event and it's going to be PvE again. So back to back and it's going to be dungeons again. Well, you can do dungeons and solo missions and daily missions, but it's going to be a looting chest. You know, the secret chest or hidden chest in missions uh, or in dungeons. Well, remember the, the blue balls, the Captain Blue Balls pirate event. It was like that. You had to hunt for the chest in the dungeons. And when you open the chest, you get the loot. And then you bring the loot to Pedro. So it's going to be something similar. If I remember correctly, guys, the most efficient way, pretty sure we were farming Voltaic Fist all week, that uh, the Blue Balls event. Uh, not because it's that much faster, because uh, Brothers of Fire is pretty fast, but because if you're going to do it, uh, you get better rewards um, in the long run because the better legendaries at the end, maybe. So um yeah leave a comment below if you think i'm wrong but pretty sure voltaic fist is the way to go for these events now about the rewards they made some precision the plasma rifle and the pistol are burst weapons so we're gonna have a special burst rifle this time kinetic sniper and a cosmetic hat now other than that since it's one more week before the update that's gonna be the last event before the update another dungeon event but when the update launch we have a new mode, Capture the Flag, which is PvP 4v4. So at the same time, we're going to have another weekly event. And it's going to be a PvP event this time. And it's going to be focused on Capture the Flag. bit more details about Capture the Flag. I've read that it's going to be three points to win. Uh, if you score a flag, everyone return to their base. And uh, one more thing, you will not have... Uh, defined roles like it's supposed to be in Shadowgun War games. Now, yesterday they finally revealed the new emotes. We did have the names already last week, but not more than that. So we had Pogo, and people kind of figured out it was going to be a Pogo stick, but you can finally see it. Uh, jumping rope, of course, it's the the yellow rope. I don't know if it's going to be yellow. Uh, the one in the middle with the chair and the drink, I think it was called Chilling. The one on the far right is Rodeo. Now, the last one on the top right, when I read the name, I had no idea what it's going to be. But Stingray emote is an actual Stingray you're going to be riding. So, uh, looking like a carpet, but I don't know if it's going to be moving around. We'll see, I guess. Uh, very curious about that one. But so far, my favorite, definitely the one in the middle. Uh, chilling on the chair like that uh, will be a lot of fun for sure uh, in PvP. <laughs> Now, last bit of information revealed in yesterday's mad stream, a new cosmetic set, a cosmetic bundle. Uh, it's called Sulaco. There's a hat, there's a chest or body armor, and the legs. So they say it's going to work like the Horus bundle or the Samurai bundle. It will hide your whole armor. So if you have big shoulders that doesn't match uh, with your whole set, or if you have boots that don't match with your legs or something like that, you know, uh, this fixes everything and it's like military style and that's funny because I was actually talking about something like that uh, I wanted some kind of legs to match with the SWAT jacket So I wanted cargo pants with military boots or something I cannot wait to see what it's gonna look like with some paint, but it's a crazy good idea I love it so far favorite thing I've seen on stream uh, Yesterday for sure last thing though usually these bundles come in the shop that you buy with gold but I think I understood that this one is going to be a bundle that you buy with money 
and it comes with gold. But uh, don't quote me on that. That's what I understood from Marek on stream yesterday. So you guys correct me if I'm wrong. Type in the comments below. So that's it already for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care. Killing time. Extraction unit to SG. Coming low and fast for a hostile extraction. Be ready, sir. Work, you piece of junk. Yeah.